It was absolutely a fascist dictatorship. It was 2016 against the dramatic backdrop of dueling press conferences, then New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and then Atlantic City Mayor Don Guardian hurling insults from opposite sides of the Atlantic City takeover. Christie won that fight and the state took over operations at the fading seaside resort, but Guardian still believes he was right. So yes, indeed, and so that's an occupational force that Atlantic City residents never called for uh, and never needed. Today, Guardian is a candidate for the assembly seat currently held by Vince Mazio, who's seeking the Senate seat in the district and pushing a bill to extend the AC takeover for four more years. Mazio says the city has made some progress under the Murphy regime. You got to look back then. We needed to, to strip everything and, and start almost from the bottom up and, and try to fix what, what's going on with their finances and, and uh, make it more stable. Property taxes have stabilized. Stockton University is expanding here. The showboat wants to build a water park. And the city budget is under $200 million for the first time in years. Even the ratings agencies have noticed upgrading the city's credit rating several times. Mazio says the current governor has been more of a partner than the previous governor. I think that uh, under uh, Christie, it was a, a more of a, a bullet. He was like a, uh, a dictator to the city of Atlantic City. He was calling all the, the shots. And quite frankly, I don't think that's a good way to to work with city officials and county officials. And I think under the Murphy uh, administration, it has been a more um, bigger partnership. And for municipal workers, cops, firefighters, etc., the return of civil service protections and collective bargaining rights lost under Christie are about to return under the Mazio bill, which the unions welcome. The, the mechanism that, the, the, that they've given us through the legislators saying that you can collect you know, you can bargain collectively and have interest arbitration if you are at impasse, if you can't come to an agreement with the city. Um, those rights were taken away. We're fighting to get those back just, just to restore some normalcy for us. Civil service should have never been taken away. Right. It is a good concept. And uh, Mazio can't take credit for this because he voted to, to uh, take it away from them to begin with. But I am glad that, that there's some uh, degree of sensibility in Trenton that's allowing it to come back. It was a takeover, in, and that's the way it ran it from the top. It was, you know, bigfooting the community. And I am proud, led by Sheila Oliver, Jim Johnson is no longer in our administration, did a great work early on, that this has been a true partnership. And I think everybody has benefited from that, especially and most importantly, Atlantic City. But I personally think in the spirit of partnership, we can't walk away from each other. And there's a lot of unfinished business. No one is under the illusion that Atlantic City is Asbury Park, but you could do worse than shoot for that kind of a comeback. With a storied past, a big beach, casinos, and hundreds of hotel rooms to spare, AC can have a future that's bright, but it will still have to get the okay from the state before it can chart its own destiny. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.